Um, I'm working with a new webcam and the sound goes off, so if this video ends up slightly odd, I apologize, the sound goes off. Um, so I'll begin my lesson. So today we are working with sometimes vowels. We're going to focus on the sometimes vowel, Y. So here's a look at our sometimes vowels. Our sometimes vowels are Y and W. Today we'll be focusing on Y. Can anybody here remember the always vowels? In English, there's five vowels. They're always vowels. The always vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. So, just remember these always vowels. And today we'll be focusing on Y, our sometimes vowel. Now, why don't we take a look at the word yummy? It's a perfect example of how Y can be a sometimes vowel or just a plain consonant. Now, remember, consonants are all the other letters, the ones that aren't vowels, like T and Q. Those aren't vowels. So Y in here is a consonant and a sometimes vowel. Now, let's sound it out together and see if we can find the sometimes vowel. Y, a, m, m, e, y, a, m, e. So, when you sound it out, which one of these vowels sounds like a e? The last vowel. The last vowel is a sometimes, or the last letter is a sometimes vowel. The last y. The first one just makes a y sound, a typical y sound. So it's a consonant y. The last one makes an E sound, so it's a vowel Y, because we all know that E is a vowel sound. Why don't we take a look at the words taxi and tidy? Now, if you look at taxi at the top, you can see that the last letter, the I, is an always vowel, and it makes an E sound. And then if you look at the word tidy, we can see that the last letter is a sometimes vowel, a Y, because it also makes an E sound. So taxi and tidy make the same sound at the end. In this example, I equals Y. They make the same exact sound. And you can always hear this in English. You really take some time, take some time and say each letter when you read a word, and you can always find the sometimes vowel. Now, there's other sounds that are vowel sounds that sometimes vowels, like Y, work with. Let's look at the word cry, oh sad cry. With the word cry, the Y makes an I sound. I, cry. And we know that I is a vowel sound. We also have it with words like pay, pay. So, we know that a Y here makes an A sound, which we know is a vowel. Now, a little trick for words like pay, a little thing to help you remember, remember it, is that a Y coming after an A, a Y coming after an A, will always make an A sound. So, why don't we look at a word where a Y, why don't we look at pay again, over here. Pay, you can see it's after, so the Y after the A, makes the A sound. But let's look at the word yap. You know, yap means to talk a lot, like yap, blah, 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 yap. So yap, the Y becomes before the A. Pay, it comes after. Now the Y coming before the A makes a Y sound, a Y sound. The Y sound is a typical consonant sound, Y, yap. And so the Y before the A is not a sometimes vowel, but the Y after the A, the Y after the A makes a A sound and is a sometimes vowel. Now, for words like cry and yummy, we don't have a trick. We don't have a trick. You have to listen to them. You really have to listen. So when you say the words, you sound it out like we did with yummy. Here, we'll do it with cry right now. K -r -i, cry. We know that we have to listen, listen for the sound and see if it's a sometimes vowel. 
Now I'm going to hand you a sheet of paper with a list of a whole bunch of sometimes vowels. And some of them are going to be plain, not, not sometimes vowels, consonants. And I want you to go through and circle all the sometimes whys, every sometimes why you can. And when I hand you the sheet, um, make a pair, make a friend, make a partner, sit next to the next person next to you. You get five minutes to circle as many as you can, and then I want you to share with me. Okay, thank you.